Good enough. Trap on black. We're gonna need double black. So ideally both these guys are on black. Play you on blue. Get an underdog. Going. Xander's Lounge. Alright, Grixis versus Grixis. This is it right here. This is the showdown. Another underdog. Not bad. Gonna want double black. Second underdog. Some stick here. Little Dragon's Fire. Little Make Disappear. Unless they pay two. Yeah, we can't do that. I think Make Disappear is a very good card. I'm excited to play more with it. I wonder if they're an Obnixless deck. Plays a little better with these casualty type cards. I could just be playing as a good counter spell though. Well, I don't really want to run Soren into a counter spell. I think I'd rather just run the underdog back at them. Make him deal with it every turn. Let's see if they have more counter spells. Okay, they wanted to just swap it. That's fine. We'll keep doing that every single turn for the rest of the game. Get in there. Alright, here comes more removal. Okay. Alright, so initial batch is done. All spent on cards that can come back from the graveyard. If they tap out, we can get a Soren cooking at some point. But they're going to have plenty of removal. If they don't tap out. I guess we want second blue in general. Let's see. How do we want to play this? We don't have to run Soren into their stuff. We could continue to run back underdogs. Continue to draw. It's really not a bad strategy. This card is so good. Nice. And here. Draw a card. They're not going to put pressure on us. We're just going to draw extra cards every single turn. Okay. Five lands. Double blue, double black. Burn of the house. Alright. Leave one back. Alright, well, I'm not really worried about the one back. It does make some of these things more awkward. How do you protect Soren, for example? Another underdog? Probably don't need that, except it can be cast this turn as well, right? Four, five, six. Yeah, we can keep that and cast it this turn, I guess. You just get picked off pretty easily. So he minus. They run both into it and it dies. If we plus though, it doesn't necessarily die. I make their life a little more awkward. So hope it lands. That's a lot of damage to take. Whew. Okay. Let's see if they can turn the corner with multiple burn down the houses. Ten life is low. I did not plan to get that low. I was hoping to hit a land off of Soren. So we got what? Just one fading hope down here. I'd love to get Lolth down. Okay. Token. Good target for fading hope if we have to. We can't really plus that much on Soren. Okay, here they come. Do we want to block? I think it's fine. I think we're gonna block you. Maybe Lear Fading Hope the Annoying Token. I can do one damage to any target. Okay, that's fine. Strangle, okay. So what do we really want to do this turn? Strangle plus Lear. I guess we really just want to drop Lear, actually. Lear Fading Hope that Annoying Token. Let's see what they do here first. One with two cards left. They're thinking. They want to choose Jawaria. That's okay. That means we can't protect it, so I guess they want to kill it next turn. Um, better than doing nothing, I'd say. Okay. Clear lands. We can't play Fading Hope this turn. 
Let's make that life linker. Let's see how what they drop off and how many cards they drop off. That'll be interesting. Okay. They could burn down the house here anyway. They could be trying to get Lear within strike a distance of a removal spell. But we don't really care that much because we don't have that many instants of sorceries down here anyway. So let's just do it like this. See what they want to do. If we lose everything here, we're still in a great position. We have Lolth, Memory Deluge, and Strangle ready to go. Okay, I don't even know if I'm going to plus Soren. We probably will, but uh, it's getting tight. Massacre for two. Okay, yeah. That's kind of what we figured. Something... Burn on the house or something after combat anyway, but we're left over with Soren. So not feeling that bad about that. Probably just drop Lolth here. Start with a plus, cheeky plus. Uh sure. Down to <laughs> down to nine. Gotta be careful. But I think we're gonna be okay. Okay. And here we got Strangle ready for the Kiki Jiki. Game is definitely not over. Our life total is getting low. We definitely have board superiority. Do nothing. Interesting. Probably start with a strangle. Maybe deluge on their turn. What if I do this? That's not enough mana. Let's do the main phase deluge. Start here. See what they want to do. Okay. It dies. Getting low. Gotta be careful. I think we want a Deluge on their turn, like I said. Oh, yes. I wonder if they have, like, Kraken or something. Hit land, that's nice. Take more blue here. So we can play this and Deluge on their turn? Okay. Let's see if they have a Holebreaker Horror. They could. Drops a 12. Okay, this is where I'm curious. Do they have anything right now? So they've got all this mana open. It is a Horror. Yep. Okay. So. Are we bouncing it now? It's really awkward for them. We also put a ton of pressure on them. I think we are. Instead of deluging. Delusion is much more mana efficient. If we let them get away with this, they're going to bounce a lot of tokens, though. I think we do it like this. Let's try to get them to lethal. They have no mana left. Okay. Alright, the game is afoot. Who can get there quicker? Let's see if they have any more land. They have six. They can't play the horror yet. Fable. They don't. Okay, good. This gives us an opportunity to get in there. Bankbuster, again, can't really crew. Land is okay. I don't know if we take this draw off of Soren, honestly. Um, we're getting close to lethal, though, right? I think we just start with the main phase deluge. See what we get. I guess we can take a free draw. But we're going to attack with everything. This is a cheaper draw. Okay. That's okay, actually. They only have the horror left. I think we try this. Maybe we don't have to take it, right? Yes. Nice. Good. Okay. Still don't have an answer to this token. I think we'll take a main phase to lose here. Interesting. Let's go, um... Let's just take these two. We can also probably get away with one iteration this turn and still play out the Fable. Okay. Um, let's go hand, I guess, Library Exile. Not sure. Red is fine. Okay. Play the Fable after combat. And it drops to six. We play out the Fable. Have a blocker. So now they can attack with the treasure. We want to kill the treasure guy because um, they can attack. Oh, they could have attacked and made the last mana for the whole brick horror. I guess they don't think that's enough. They're drawn for answers. I guess they need burn on house. Whew! 
Nice. What a game. That was fun. Grixis versus Grixis. I think we'll call it there, boys. If you enjoyed today's video, as always, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment for the algorithm. I'm Dr. Ruckus, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.